take that from so here's the story so I started doing this I found these not this exact one but it was very close like uh, 2012 13 I bought it because I remember Steve Stevens using him on Rebel Yell and on the Vince Neil album other things he that was his thing ray gun but he the one he had he kept fixing and breaking fixing breaking finally it just broke couldn't find him I went down to a guitar center. He did a, uh, you know, a, a thing. What do you call it? Where the guy shows up and he does a, a class, whatever. Demo, whatever the hell they call it. I'm like, dude. So I was down there because I was getting my one of my roads. Uh, the white polka dot. The white with the black polka dot. Rhodes Jackson. Not the V, the Rhodes. And it's a 1983. It's worth a ton of money. Steve Vise offered me $1,200 in 1997. Or, yeah, 97. When it was that performance guitar getting worked on. Actually, it was getting put back together after a paint job. Or the paint job. Because, see, when I bought it off a kid, I got this thing. Yeah, this I've told a bunch of stories just to mess with people. The thing is, is in the 90s, nobody wanted these 80s guitars anymore. They all wanted to go back to these, well, Les Pauls and, and ugly guitars. Just ugly, I think. Just the ugliest of ugly. Like the Mustangs and all that crap. Ugh! Jaguars. Ugh! Fenders. They suck. Anyways, everybody's playing them because, uh... Boom! What's his name? Kurt Cobain. Who was, you know, too bad. I really felt, you know... Feel for the guy. <laughs> yeah, I feel he's out there somewhere. So, anyways, so I went down and I was buying up '90s guitars because I liked them, especially the Rhodes, the Jacksons. 
the one I got, that one, I paid $75. He had it in for 150 And I told him, dude, you're not taking care of this guitar. My guitar teacher designed this guitar, dude. It belongs to me. I'll give you $50 right now. He goes, $50? I go, fine, 75 I fapped the cash. He's like, okay. Boom, got it. So I took it, and I gave it to my friend. He stripped it, and he painted it, and he had to, he, he left. He just, the guitar appeared at my house. He had painted it. He shot one or two coats of clear, didn't buff it, and let, gave it to me. So it looks relic. So it looks great. So it's a 1983 Jackson, and I just tell everybody, yeah, I got it painted that way. But if you look it up, and anybody that knows Jackson's, if you look up the serial number, it'll tell you what color the jet the thing was when they when it left the factory. It was black with red binding type crap. Red on the bevels. There's it was red. Eh, I wanted Randy Rhodes. So this guy did the paint job, and without doing the buffing and making it all shiny and, and neat. He actually made it look better. So, then the Jackson, what they did is they uh, put the pickup or the toggle switch up here like a Concord. So, it just baffles everybody. Wow, what is it? I go, it's a custom. Because it is a custom. And Jackson has done all the work, really, except for the paint job. And that was my friend Tony. Uh, can't remember his last name right now. So, there's that story. It has nothing to do with this guitar. Oh, oh. So I'm down there picking the guitar up because they were doing uh, something to the uh, the bridge, and Steve Stevens was giving his class. So I stayed there and watched, and then I went to pick the guitar up. And I went to say hi to Steve and blah blah. blah. I go, dude, I have to tell you something. But he was signing autographs and all that. I go, I'll be back in like 20 minutes. You're gonna want to hear this. He goes, okay. So when I got my guitar, I brought it back because I wanted him to sign it. And he's like, you on that? I go, yeah. He goes, dude, I'll give you, like, whatever. You know, 2500 3000 4000 I'm like, what? I go, you know what? Steve Vai wants this. What's it with all the Steves from New York wanting this guitar? He goes, it's a badass guitar, man. That's the first production. Like, the one that everybody, it was made for everybody. It didn't have the inlays like this. It had the dot inlays. So it brought it down a hundred bucks. Woo! But still, it's bad guitar, man. Neck through, beautiful. Plays great, sounds great, is great. So I said, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if I do, I will let you know. How do I get hold of you? And so he gave me his, his secret uh, way of getting hold of him, which is his Instagram or something account. I can't remember what it was. I go, what I had to tell you is I found this place in China that makes laser guns, and they're pretty close to what you want. It, and they make the noise, but they have lights that go off, and he goes, I can take care of all that. As long as it makes the noise, I go, dude, it makes the noise, and you'll be able to... You see, what he does is he has his tech put a pot potentiometer right here and that's how he can adjust the sound or the speed like I'd love to get that done he said he would do it but he's busy so when he gets these he pops this off usually sprays it all autographs it and sells it but the one he has is all modded so I go dude I'm the one that told you because I, you know, I have like three of them over here, but they don't work. Once the battery goes, you can't get in there. You got to pull it all apart. I'm not doing that. So I said, dude, do you have any of those? Because I notice every time I go to buy one, it says 500 just purchased by, 500 just purchased by, 100 just purchased by. I'm like, oh my gosh, I know who it is. Who else would buy all these? So he's like, well, yeah, what do you want? I go, the one. He goes, well, they come in two, but I got to thing they come in set of two i'll send you two i'm like dude cool got them on sunday uh through whatever <laughs> whoever is not the mail can't remember what delivered and i'm like whoa no way so this is it
Pretty cool, huh? And then you should go into a really great solo, which I can't, because I don't know how. Thank you, everybody, and see you next time. Goodbye. Beep.